What's up, everybody? Ben Raza here for Odd Chopper, bringing my best bet of the day. It is Tuesday, October 11th in the sports world. No football tonight. This is like the one day of the week. We do not have football, but lucky for us, the MLB playoffs, Champions League, and soccer. There is plenty to get to. If you've just found out about Odd Chopper or you're coming back, all the same, welcome. Welcome to Odd Chopper, breaking down all things betting. You want to support us. Hit the like button. Let us know you're here and join the team. Subscribe to this channel. We want you as part of this community. We're growing very quickly. And again, it's thanks to you guys out there supporting us. Yesterday, Kansas City Chiefs, wild game. Wild, wild game. For us in the prop world, we're going to have to take uh, you know the glass half full approach. We secured a ton of closing line value on Isaiah Pacheco's rushing prop. Andy Reid had other plans. He barely played. He had one carry. McKinnon went wild. Edwards Hilaire was non-existent in the ground attack. Pacheco is going to get his opportunities, but it wasn't last night. And that's something we just have to live with. Uh, disappointing because uh, that spot, we got it and we crushed that closing line. But that happens and we turn the page. We're going to do just that. In addition to that, you see it on the screen. Bet five, win 200 in free bets. If your team wins, what does that mean? New users for DraftKings. Use the link in the description of this video. Go there and deposit. And when you do, take five bucks, bet a money line. And if that team wins, you're getting $200. I'd suggest a college football money line where there's an extremely heavy favorite, but that's up to you. Take a favorite, hope they win, get your money. Where are we going today? We got to go back to the MLB playoffs, and it's kind of good. I, I want a little break uh, from football after that showing last night. We've got the Dodgers and the Padres. Dodgers are the best team, and I honestly think to start this series, they're going to show it. I am very comfortable going to them. It was just in what iteration do we want to go? Couldn't really find anything, so I just went to the very traditional, laying a run and a half for the game. I wanted to stretch this out. At first, I was going to go to the first five. Didn't get the line that I wanted. I like the Dodgers, minus one and a half at minus 105. Let's get into the routine and talk about why. Division rivals here, but the Dodgers are just outstanding. 111 and 51, 57 and 24 at home. The highest run differential in the entire league. They're the favorites. They should be. They have a superstar team, a deep rotation. They have everything that you could want. The Padres are playing good baseball. There's no doubt they got past the Mets, 89 and 73, 45 and 36 on the road. Uh, they know what they're doing. They've seen the Dodgers a lot. It hasn't gone well. The, the Padres are 5-14 and 14 against the Dodgers this year, and that's something that I, I do think is somewhat impactful. The Dodgers have had their number, and the Dodgers have had a lot of teams' numbers just because they're that good. For the pitching matchup, let's start with the Padres and Mike Clevenger. 7-7 seven and seven with a 4.33. It was bad in September. A 7.83 in his five September starts. He did show a good data point in October. He had one October start. It was against the the you know the lifeless White Sox, so take that for what it's worth. But he did show uh, a little positive regression after a really rough September. The splits on the road, though, not great. Four and four on the road, but a five point four six. Opponent batting average balloons to two fifty five at, at home. It's two point eight eight ERA and a two oh four uh, opponent batting average. So that's something. Clevenger could be in in for a tough scene here. He's played the Dodgers. He's faced the Dodgers like most people. It hasn't gone well. And I kind of expect that to be the case once again tonight. The Dodgers could have thrown, you know, they set up their rotation however they want. Julio Urias, 17 and 7, 2.16. He gets the ball. Uh, at home, it balloons a little to 2.43, but the opponent batting average is just 183. He's just fantastic. Uh, and he, just like Clevenger, they have faced each other quite a bit this year. He's already faced the Padres four times. Three of them were in September. The Dodgers won all four of those games. Uh, the earn runs allowed by Urias in those games, one, zero, two, and one, just been good. Really, really solid quality outings. And that's what I think we can expect here. So again, if you're looking, you say, okay, well, all this leads me to a first five type bet. I get it. I, I totally understand that logic. I went to Odd Chopper. I wanted to wait on some of those numbers. I couldn't find the number that I liked. And ultimately, I landed here for, for a coin flip at minus 105. I think that the Dodgers kind of just start very quickly. I'm not saying that they just run through the entire series like this, but tonight in this spot, I think this one could get out of hand pretty quickly. And I'm very eager and willing to lay the minus one and a half runs, even for a home team. So there you have it. Dodgers start fast, show why they're the team to beat. And we're going to lay that run and a half. I just want to say thanks as always football.
We'll be back tomorrow. There's Wednesday night football. And then there's Thursday night football. And I'm sure there are games on Friday. I haven't even looked. Uh, but until all of that, thanks again for tuning in. Check out what else we have at this channel. So many great content creators. Even if you say this guy, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. Well, we got other people that you'll probably like better. But in the meantime, let's go Dodgers. Minus one and a half for minus 105. Good luck today. Enjoy all the sports, whether it's soccer, baseball, or anything in between. And I will talk to you guys soon.